I'm Dr. Roger, and today we're looking at differential equations, in particular the Laplace transform. I'm going to use the definition to find the Laplace transform of f of t equals e to the a t, where a is a constant, and the Laplace transform of f of t is also written as uppercase f of s. And in general, integral transforms are the integral from alpha to beta of e of some kernel k of s t times f of t dt. For the Laplace transform, alpha is zero, beta is infinity, k of s t is e to negative s t, and then times f of t is times e to the a t dt. This is the definition of the Laplace transform, and for e to the at, this gives us the integral e to the negative s minus a times t. And that integral is the limit as b goes to infinity of 1 over s minus a negative e to negative s minus a quantity times t from 0 to b. Here I'm using the more formal definition of an improper integral. And for s greater than a, s minus a is a positive quantity so negative s minus a is a negative quantity, and as t as b goes to infinity, e to negative s minus a times b goes to zero. At the lower limit, e to the zero is one, so it's minus a negative one over s minus a, minus a negative is plus, so that's one over s minus a. The transform of e to the a t equals 1 over s minus a. And as you look at a variety of transforms, you'll see that in most cases, the Laplace transform turns exponentials, sine, cosine, polynomials, all into rational functions. And it turns out that by making an entire differential equation into rational functions, we'll be able to use these to solve our differential equations more easily. Come back soon for my next differential equations video. With math, there's always more.